Okay, everyone. So now we are going to develop a Windows application. Here we will make a program to check whether the number is even and odd. Now this even and odd number we are going to find out with the help of the switch case. We know that in the switch case there are multiple cases, and out of that we has to find out. So here we are using how to apply switch case to find out the even and the odd number. So first of all, I have started with the project and I have given the name as even odd. Now here we are having the form, and on this form I am dragging and dropping a button. So this is the button, and it will find the even and odd number. So here I am giving the name, let's say, click. So click is the name I have given here. Now you can see that the button name is click. Now I click on the form. Here I am giving, let's say, my name. So I have given my name to the form. Now I will click back here. So this is the form created. Now I need a text box so that in this text box I can take a number from the user. So I will take a text box. So I am dragging and dropping the text box. Now this is the text box one. So from this text box I can take out the number. Now I am giving a message to the user. by entering the label so here i am applying the label let's say i will say enter number so i am giving the name enter number now this label is enter number i am aligning this text box in front of that now whenever i run this project we can see that it will be coming like this so here i will enter the number let's say 3 and if i click over there i want that this number is even or odd that should be given to me so for that answer i should be clicking on the button so i am double clicking on the button so that the button coding will open you can see that button 1 underscore click so this coding is open now i want a variable let's say dim a as integer so i am creating a integer type variable so the dotted is saying it is unused variable means right now i have not used it so the text box one value means whatever the user will write i want that it should be going to the variable a so i am saying a is equal to means inside the i want to store what text box one dot text means whatever inside the text box one is there this is the text box one whatever inside is there that will be going to this a but yes we are taking the text and we are dealing with the integer integer is a value so i has to convert this to the value so the text of text box 1 is converted to value and stored to a so now inside a i am having a certain number now what i want i want that it should be even and odd so even means the numbers which are divided by 2 so those number who are divided by 2 and the remainder is 0 they are called the even numbers so i am taking one more variable here let's say b now what i want i am saying b is equal to a a is the number which is taken from the user mod mod means i am dividing that number with 2 and what is the remainder so let's say if i am having a number 4 so here what will happen 4 mod 2 so 4 is divisible by 2 so in the b 0 will come let's say if i take the number 5 so 5 mod 2 5 is not divisible by 2 so the remainder is 1 so 1 will come here into the b so the value of b will be 0 and 1 depending upon the remainder now on this remainder i am applying the switch case we know that the case is basically taking a statement we are having the multiple things out of that we are selecting one so for the decision making we are having the case here so here we are writing select case and on which we are applying the case on b so i am entering you can see that automatically case is having the end case that means there is no need of bracket so whatever we are writing inside that will come as the part of this case so select case and on which we are applying on b b is what b is the remainder and remainder of what the number we are entering the mod with 2 and we know that if 
the remainder is zero so the number is even if the remainder is not zero the number is odd so we are writing here case zero this is the case zero and this is the case else case else means if i am having case zero case one case two so for that specific it will run but case else means for all other options just like in the if we are having the else similarly in the case we are having the else so if the case is zero case zero means the value of b is zero means the remainder of these two number is zero so that means we are saying msg box in the bracket i am saying number is e1 so this is the even number case else means except zero any other remainder come so in that case we can provide msg box number is odd so here we are mentioning the number is odd so this is how we can provide the case here now our program is over now we are going to learn this program by executing it so we are going to click on the play button start debugging here we can see that this is our window now let's say i am entering a number 4 here and i click over there now it is saying number is even so how it is working i entered the number 4 into the text box 1 and i click on the button so on the clicking of button this coding will run now here a and b two integer variables are declared text box 1 text this 4 is taken converted to value and stored to a means inside a we are having the 4 now 4 mod 2 4 is perfectly divisible by 2 and the remainder is 0 so in the b 0 is stored now we are applying the select case on this 0 so case 0 will work and number is e1 let's say if i enter some other number assuming i am applying 5 now click here number is odd so how it is working on click of button this coding is executed a and b variables are declared this number is taken into a and a is 5 so 5 mod 2 so if i divide 5 with 2 the remainder is 1 so now in the b 1 is stored so on this b we are applying the case case 0 will not work because the value of b is 1 so else part will run number is odd so this is how we can apply the case into the dotnet and we can find out the number is even or odd